All right, hello, hello again. Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Before I do anything, let me show you uh, an evolution. Oh, well, damn. <laughs> okay, uh, how do I pause? Why is the pause? So, oh, I'm too fast with it. Uh, there's no way to just restart the clip. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so I evolved my Finizen to Palafin, which as you can see, the main difference, it's hard to see here. The main difference is just it gets a heart on its chest for here. However, this Pokemon changes its appearance if it hears its allies calling for help. Palafin will never show anybody its moment of transformation. So, oopsie. Let's uh, take a good look at Palafin here. It's got a heart on its chest. I can't quite uh, look at it here. However, we can go into a battle. Where am I again? Uh, I'm at Medali. Okay. <laughs> so let's find let's let's find something to just run into in battle real quick. Actually, no. Let's, let's show you let's show you the thing first. Let's show you the cool and uh, exciting thing first and foremost. Perfect, let's see, let's try it on the pig. So. Got us Palafin here. It's a little bit of a lighter blue too. Very, very, very little bit. Not quite noticeable. But, see here, its ability is zero to hero. The Pokemon transforms to its hero form when it switches out. So, with the leave of Palafin, switch it out. Into, into whatever else, just have it, just to, as long as you switch it out. Okay. And when you switch it in, I mean, you, uh, you've probably seen it by now. There you go. This is its hero form. It looks like All Might, if it were a dolphin. <laughs> Palafin indeed. Really wacky looking, but it got a little water cape. Look at it. Not well, not really a cape, more like just the just the collar. And it's got the new move called Flip Turn. It's just uh, it was introduced the last generation actually. It's just water type uh, U turn basically. Very very useful for this Pokemon because it wants to be switching out. It's got it gets insane high uh, attack stat when it when it does become its hero form, and. Let's, re let's learn some uh, new moves here, shall we? Jet Punch is a new move I can learn. It's uh, Aqua Jet, except stronger. It's a priority water move with 60 power instead of just 40. So let's forget Aqua Jet, learn Jet Punch instead. Uh, what other stuff can I learn? Aqua Tail? No, I can miss. Hmm. I swear I can learn Ice Punch from. Uh, maybe it, I mean, maybe it learns just Ice Punch from uh, TM. I don't think I have the TM for it, however. However, let us talk to this guy first, see how much, uh, defeated one trainer. Okay, well. Alright, uh, let's check the TMs that we can, uh, potentially ice Fang. A, a dolphin doesn't have fangs. I mean, not in this game, at least. Search to, search the ice types here. Ice Fang, Icy Wind, Avalanche, uh... Ice Punch, aha! But I need Cub Chufer and Meditate Sweat? Ugh, what the fuck? And then for Ice Spinner, what is Ice Spinner? Usually covers its feet with thin ice and twirls around, slamming into its target. The mo this smooth spinning motion also destroys the terrain. Interesting. It's like Rapid Spin, except it just destroys specifically terrain. That's cool. St a bit stronger than Ice Punch, too. But anyway, Cub Chufer and Meditate Sweat. I know where to get Meditates. I don't know, uh... Well, I mean, I have an idea of where to get find Cub Chew, I just haven't, uh, it's probably up here, I just haven't quite entered that area yet. So, uh, let's, let's look for some Metatite first, get some, get some sweat. Which, if I'm, I remember seeing Metatite in this cave, actually, uh, last time we passed it. Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> that didn't look very good. Okay. Mm I mean, maybe you could find Cub Chew around here, because I'm finding like the those the, the ice whales. The I forgot the, what their names are already. Walked past one though, but anyway, 
maybe you could find Cub Chew somewhere here, but I've yet to find such a there's a Gabite. That's not what not a one I wanna fight. There's a Solandit here. Where are the monkeys? Okay, here's the Pokemon set. I, I guess I could have just flown here. Solandit gas. What is this? Oh! Looks like we probably need to go up here anyway. And, oh, according to the map, it does indeed look like we can find Cub Chew in the area. I don't know if it's, like, specifically in here. What are these? What are these? I don't think I've seen this before. What is that? Is it a... What's it supposed to be? Glimmet. Like some sort of cave flower? Huh. I'm gonna hit it with a jet punch and see what happens. It's super effective. Okay. Well, I saw another one back there. I can... Yeah. Toxic debris. Poison spikes. Oh, it's the toxic spikes uh, ability. Okay. So let's not use a water move this time. Let's just try... Acrobatics is not very effective apparently. So, so I'm thinking it's part rock type. Rock poison is my guess. Sandstorm. The snow right back there doesn't like the. Oh, there's a gimme gold under the sun. Alright. Try to catch this thing. Nice. Okay. So, it is indeed rock poison. It absorbs nutrients from cave walls. The petals it wears are made of crystallized poison. Interesting. The ore Pokemon. Get the guinea gold here. There's snow around here as well, so... There's Dino. I but I don't, I don't see any cup chew down here, however... I do need to look around for the, uh, I want to look around for the med the Meditite first before we actually move up. So, let's take a quick, quick look-see around this cave here. Quick backtrack a little bit. Oh! Uh, what, what are you? What are you? I don't know what you are. Oh, I think I know... Frig Frigibax. Okay, I think I know what this thing evolves into. That being said, let's jet punch it. Okay, it's part... It's, it's, I think it's Dragon Ice. Or maybe it's just pure Dragon for now, but it evolves into Dragon Ice type. Okay, perfect. Actually, use bite. Okay. Okay, I just. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, but I mean, you probably just noticed. I did indeed end up getting my Pokemon to level 50 from through uh, some some raid battle spam, giving them some candies. Hmm. I don't think any of my Pokemon learned anything, any new uh, moves though, aside from what I showed you with. Finism. Or no, Palafin right now is what it's called. Okay. Focus energy. This thing is difficult catch rate, isn't it? Dust ball. How about that? We're in a cave. Oh, excuse me. Still very gassy. Ate some uh, some breakfast today. A new, a new recording day, might I add. Brand new. I got my sleep. Lots of it too. More than I thought, actually. More than I wanted. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Ice Fin Pokemon. Frigibax uh, absorbs heat through its dorsal fin and converts the heat into ice energy. The, f the higher the temperature, the more energy Frigibat stores. Or Frigibax. Is this some sort of, dra like, other shark, shark dragon? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, I'm looking for monkeys. 
Maybe I'm too high and in, like, maybe the altitude is too high. I don't think the monkeys live up here. But the dogs do. There's a Lucario. Hmm. Okay. We'll go down in the cave. I, I, I know, at least I know I can just fly to the Pokemon Center that's in, in the middle of this freaking cave system to, uh, oh! Some parkour for this item. This better be a good item. What item is this? Oh, okay. Rick Andy, I'll take it. It's pretty decent. Let's make our way through this tunnel. Go left. And navigate our way through the cave until we find some monkeys. Hmm. Uh, ne never mind. Was it not this cave that had the metatite? I swear it did. Oh, wait! I think I remember seeing Cub Chew at the top of this, uh... <gasps> at the Snom. I like Snom, it's uh, pretty neat. I like Frostmoth more, though. Very cool looking Pokemon. Okay. Oh, you kidding me? Screw off, mate. Oh my god. <laughs> that one I kind of walked into, but I, I, I didn't see no snom by the by the time the camera panned over to my character. Okay. I see you walking around there. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Glaciado Mountain. Glacido? Glaciado? If I remember correctly, I saw the cup chew up on this little lip of the mountain. Or maybe not. Let's the last Pokemon down there. Hmm. Wild Haunch Crow, by the way. That's neat. I thought that was a trainer. <laughs> that's a poke. That's a straight up poke. Oh my god, the Pyroar! Oh, that's the wrong. I wanted to do the R button, not the Z R button. There's a Pyroar in me right now. I think. Oh, maybe not. Can I heal it while it's doing this? Looks like I can. Wow. Literally, what's up? This thing is chasing me because I'm killing all the women. I don't need the Leo Tuft. I need the the monkey and the bear. Here's a trainer. Oh my god! And he's guarded by Pyroar. And he's yodeling. This isn't really giving me a lot of experience, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay. Yo, Lee, who? Wait, who are you? Scon tank. That was the, the remaining Pyroar watching, too. <laughs> the Pyroar's on the other dude's team. Probably because I, uh... You know... Killed their family. So, Scun tank, eh? And then Crocodile. Toxic. Interesting that you're toxic. It's not good. Alright. Earthquack the skunk. Nice. Yeah, in it. Uh, we got the Moxie boost. Okay, what about the the Poisson, the fish, uh, Grafai, another poison type. Okay. Grafai is neat. I like it.
max the students. Pyro is uh, pissed that I won. Who are you? Oh, here. Okay. Let's get rid of the poison on Crocodile. Antidote. Nice. Imagine if Antidote didn't cure, like, badly poison. Okay. How do yama? More. Why are there so much freaking lions up here? There are so many! And bugs, too. I'm not seeing no, uh, cub chew. Oh, the <laughs> engine bug. You know what? I don't have one yet. Let's catch one. <clears throat> Varoom. Let's just uh, put turn out of here. Palafin. And let's go into Orthworm. I think they changed the hail mechanic to snow, and I think snow does something different. But I could be wrong. That's just what I heard. But I mean, I'm not getting hurt by the, the snow, so... But I mean, maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's just not weather. Who knows? <laughs> you know, I don't know. Let's use a Premier Ball here. Try to catch this uh, engine boy. Dem. Poison Shab, not gonna hit me at all. i just Iron Hat it and see if I can lower it a little bit more. Well, that's too much. Too much Earthworm. Skeletors level up. <laughs> I have a Room Fume, I like that. Okay, let's try this again. <coughs> Excuse me. So flip turn. Go into uh Worthworm. I saw the the move set on this uh on Palafin. It's insane. This thing can learn like drain punch and close combat and act well I mean it already knows acrobatics. Ice punch, which I mentioned and I'm I'm kind of wanting for it. Crazy. I mean, like, let me remind myself and see what else I can learn while uh, while this battle is happening. One more smackdown should be good. Alrighty, let's see here. Uh, to kill him an OP. Pa. Eh. Palafin. Okay. Um. Now let's throw an ultra ball at the Varum while I look at this. Focus put Wave Crash, which Wave Crash is a it's a new move. It's water type flare blitz basically. 120 power physical does recoil damage, 100 accuracy. I'm not at 61 though. Alright, uh Varum. It is said that this Pokemon was born when an unknown poison Pokemon entered the ins entered and inspirited the engine left at a scrap possessing factory. So, so a poison type Pokemon possess this thing? Yeah, I mean, maybe Ghastly because it's ghost poison. Hmm. Interesting lore. I wonder what could have uh, got caught up in the engine there. Spoinker? Candy there. Oh, there's a Psyduck up here just sitting. Hang on. I want to see if I can... Okay, let me get off then. I wish you could walk with the camera in your hand. Um. Don't mind me. I can't. I can't camera when I'm crouching either. From the other right, the other side. Oh, it's not snowing anymore. Oh. I don't know what that sound is, but it's behind me. Yeah, why can't you pull out the? Wow! Because I stood up because I wanted my camera. Can 
Can I zoom? <laughs> I can't have the camera upside down. See decent amount of counter uh, filters there. Shame I can't use the camera while crouching though. What? Oh, it's the elephants. <laughs> That's what's making those elephant like noises. Hikers are great. So strong and free and cool. You just like a uh, muscle mommy. Muscle mommy hiker of the game. That's what you like. Nothing wrong with it. Just saying. Just pointing out your. Uh, just. Don't need a, you don't need a sugar coat it. Okay. Elephant. Flip turn out of here, out of, away from this espion. Which, hot take. I like the shiny espion color. I like the emerald good, like the green apple green. I love that. Alright. Um. I'll just send it north where am I supposed? High beam. A critical hit. Can Espion learn Moonblast? I wonder. I know it's the Psychic type, but I wonder if I can just learn Moonblast too. That'd be pretty good coverage. Kuko Dile level up. I want to learn Thrash? Nah. Umbreon is next. I could use a fighting type move for Palafin. That would be very useful. I need, or a, well, fighting type move in general. That's not a low kick on Crocodile. I mean, low kick's good, especially later in the game when you fight bigger, uh, bigger and heavier Pokemon. Send out Captain Falcon Dolphin mode. And then just flip turn out of here again. Alright, dark type A. Eh? I suppose Crocodile is, uh. Could have resisted. Like, I could I know I could have sent in Crocodile versus Espeon, but again, in my brain, I was, I was wondering if I could just learn Moonblast. Guard Swap. I mean, sure. I'll take some bigger defenses. With no questions asked. And low kick you. Jana, J Jana or Gina? Gina the student? Oh. Hi guys. Don't mind me. This Paparazzi is so funny. It's such a square elephant. It's not hip to be square. More engines. How oh, this this is a big ass freaking mountain, isn't it? <gasps> what the it just went up my ass. And there's more of them. They're so goddamn fast. Like, I know they're engine things, but still. It's kind of embarrassing bumping into your schoolmates out of, out of school, huh? Eh. Depends. Alma the student. Bayonet. Well, you know the, the you know the drill. Palafin flip turn out of here. And place you with some some crocodile action. Purse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Buffs a little bit here too. Okay. Uh, Glaceon is next. It's an Enskeledoge here. I hope I'm saying that right actually. I'm 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 curious. Let me uh <laughs> let me pull up the old uh, Google Google translate to, to... 
Why is it still... It's still defaulting to Japanese. Like, to, from Japanese to English. It's weird. Alright. Uh, let me... Mute some stuff here. Uh, unmute that. Let's listen. Ready? Skeleturge. Okay. So I am saying it roughly correct. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Flamethrower. Because I don't know what a dirge is. I guess I could have Googled that too. Maybe I'll do it in a moment. Okay. Always good to learn. I lost. Now I'm even more embarrassed. How embarrassing. Seeing like uh, your, your, your classmates outside of school. Ugh. Can never, ca can never catch me dead with one of those. Avalog. In a, a goofy Pokemon. What level are you? No, I don't want to fight you. I just want to look. 45? Hmm. Stop following me. Stop. <laughs> okay, good. I got the switch at least. I don't know why I switched it. It's going to be Terrasla. What type is it even going to be? In or rock? Rock type. Yep. And I got the fire type out now. This is what I get. See if I just catch Palafin in. I only have two special attackers, both of which are weak to rock. Oh well. We're fine. We're fine. I don't know what I was worried about. Cool how this works. Like how you can't quite kill it. It's like, uh... Oh, we're both... Oh, you're kind of floating. Uh, how it gives you, like, a, a good chance to catch whatever special Terrasal Ice Pokemon you run into. Without having the need, uh, to use False Swipe. Okay, back to the front you go. But yeah, with Paladin's abil Palafin's ability, you have to switch it out. Like, if it, you can't just have it in- I don't think you can just have it in reserve and it just becomes hero mode. I'll, I'll, ch I'll test it, but I don't think that is the case. Where's a young goose here? Let's play a young goose. Uh, yeah, it's not- it's not its hero mode here, and even if I switch it out, or send it out, it's still gonna be little dolphin mode. I have to be- I have to be the one switching it out here. I have to recall it in order for it to become big boy. I keep pouncing them up front though. They're good. Oh! Yeah! Goodbye, peace out. More and There's a lot of engine bo rooms up here and a Weavile. A wild Weavile. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna. I think I might try to catch it. I wanna try to come out of you from behind. Aha! I got you! Smacked right in the back of the head. Alright, I, I, I feel like Iron Hat's just gonna kill it, so let's try Smackdown. Okay, I'm gonna hit one more of those, I think. If I, as long as it's not like a crit or a higher roll. I'll take the risk. Nice. Okay. Great ball. Here we go. Nice. Caught a Weavile. That's a little bit of a uh, headache to evolve out of the way. Just gotta find the damn uh, Razor Claw, I think it's called. It's not Sharp Claw, is it? I'm pretty sure it's Razor Claw. 
Fusion made it even more devious. It communicates by claws, by clawing signs and boulders. Not by saying we will leave. Okay. It's uh, one of my friend's favorite Pokemon. Oh, this is. There's also a tower here. <laughs> I, I didn't, like, register that in my brain. That I was beside and next to a tower. What, uh... What's that? It's like up down this way. It, yeah, it's just, it's this. It's, it looks like just one, two, three towers. By a lake. I imagine there's... Oh, hi. Why is my hand there? Is my hand supposed to be there? <laughs> I want to take a picture with the... <laughs> one more. One more attempt. Okay. Looks like I'm holding the muffler. What muffler are you? 42, okay. Well... I could probably not go down there, to be honest. Uh, no. There's a Pokemon Center down there, too. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll unlock the Pokemon Center. Why not? North Province, Area 1. The area which I've been struggling to get to. Okay. So I think I have a route in mind now. A route, a route, a rooty, rooty booty, scooty scooty. There's a wiggly tough back there. I hear Gimme Ghoul. I feel like Gimme Ghouls are just always at Pokemon. So that, that, I feel like that fracture's still there, but yeah, if it's too close to the Pokemon Center, just disap dis a fucking beers. What is that? That's, a, that's an NDD. Like in Rock Midnight. What is? What are the? What is this? What are these ores? I'm just getting distracted now, but but I can't look away. I can't. I can't look up higher. Well, Halucha is there too. I'm just getting lost in the sauce. All right, let me. I don't think there's a. Oh yeah, that, I got the tower. I can just fly up here. Glaciado Mountain. I'm just gonna call it Glaciado. I don't know if that's correct, but I can find out uh, next time I'm like in a battle or something. I'm not gonna do it right now. There's a trainer up here, perfect. And I'll look up what a dirge is. <laughs> if dirge is correct, then unless it's like part of, like dirge is part of whatever ooh, the crocodile's supposed to be. Alright. So English. Alright. Uh on my end. I'm not gonna meet the game on the capture code then. This time. Right, uh, actually, in the meantime, though. We've got Sandaconda here. Let's send in. I do still have Surf on Palafin. Let's do that. Alright. Um. Glaciado. Glaciado. How do you pronounce this thing? Computer. Glaciado. Okay. Oh, it translate from Spanish. Uh, not the Japanese. <laughs> from not from Spanish to Japanese. I don't speak either of those. Uh, Spanish to English. Glazed. Cool. Okay, so glaciado means glazed. Glazed mountain. Nice. I like that. That's good. Good job, Pokemon Company. Uh, feel free done that. But but please fix your frames. Um, okay. Well, let's just go back to English. Unless unless dirge is also Spanish. Dirge. Dirge. Okay, what is it though? Define dirge. 
Okay. Dirges, uh, lament for the dead, especially one forming part of a funeral rite. So that makes a lot of sense that this thing is a ghost type, or, well, vice versa. That's why Dirges in its name, because it's a ghost type and it's, it's dead. And it sings. Cool. It's a very specific word, though. Why do they make a word for specifically uh, a lament for the dead? A, dead a, a song for the dead. Oh, I guess I guess there's there could be good reasons. All right. Uh, actually, let me unmute the game for me so I can hear what's going on. I'll keep Google open and I'll keep Google open in the background in case I do have more just random thoughts. Whoa, you found a mass outbreak of Magneton. Magneton? Oh, I have. What the... Well, I mean, there's just... Oh, the, the snow gets heavy up here, doesn't it? Shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> me, 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 ma, ma, ma. I like how metallic the steel types look. Glaciado Mountain has such a nice fresh air. I can sing so well up here. Yeah, but aren't you freezing your fucking ass off? I should be putting my tooth on, actually. Toxtricity. The, the guitar form. Oh, Orthworm did a really earthquake. <laughs> At some point, uh, through level up. I was gonna look it up, but I mean, y'all are- y'all are, are big and strong to, to look it up yourselves if you- if you are- Curious enough. That's all from me, 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 me. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna do? Hmm. I don't remember. I feel like I was gonna do something very important and special. Oh, you know what I should do actually is set that as the destination. How do I like navigate this place? Let me see. Cause I feel like this is not. The correct way, but maybe there is no correct way. This is an open world game after all. Let's just go. And of course, I should be able to find some cup chew up here, which I need to find still, and metatype. I need to find. Yeah, no, this is correct. I don't know what I was thinking. This is a pretty flat surface area. Some snom, some bergmite, bronzon. So, what are these things called? Set, so, so little, set so toddle. Okay. Sup, sup, G. Sup, my broski. Uh, wild bull transport at your service. What do we say? We have a quick battle. Oh, it's a, it's a crrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Wild Frostlass is up here? I'll try to catch this thing. Saves me from using a, uh... It's an, uh, Dusk Stone. I almost said Ice Stone. I mean, Ice Stone would have been... Would have made sense as well, but... That came out much later. Okay. Well... Missing Smackdown is not key. I feel like Iron Head's just gonna kill. Confuse Ray. There's another... Is that a shiny back there? No, no, it's just the fucking lighting. <laughs> wow. Thanks, game. On top of that, I'm just not hitting pro. You know what? I'm just gonna risk it. Because I feel like SmackDown's also just not gonna do, like, anything. I'm pretty sure Shiny the Titan is indeed, like, like, black or gray, like, dark gray. Or Satoddle, so rather. Whatever. Both of them. Let me double check though. Yeah, it is like, it is darker, but it's like eyelashes are orange, is the thing. It was hard to tell with the uh, the, the the shading there. The little guy's playing pranks on me. Look at him. Ooh, I'm so close. Well, we, we you know what you know what we keep we keep trying. Throw a great ball this time. Nice. Snow run fur from that. Snow run has fur. What the fuck is snow run? Oh my god, that's grim. Okay, when it, when, when it finds humans and Pokemon it likes, uh, it freezes them and takes it, them to its chilly den, where they become decorations. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, you were in my eye. I couldn't see you at all. Sneasel. What you get? Give me your sneasel fur. Your sneasel ear. Oh, it was indeed fur. Oh no, it was claw. I was looking at the snow. <laughs> the cub chew. I need your fur. Two more pieces at least. Okay. How much are you gonna give me? Just one. Uh, two. Okay, perfect. I think I have enough of that then. But just in case. <laughs> just in case I need more. It looks like up there is a, uh, a snowboard track or, or something. Careful there, young one. Let's see, look for one real quick. You ought to be careful. There's no shortage of strong trainers in these parts. Yeah, the strong trainers usually tend to be up, up in the mountains in these games, don't they? And of the dragon dragon tamer up here? With all this ice? You sure? Okay. 37 dragon iron. Dragon is very pretty though. Very cool looking Pokemon. Especially shiny. It's pink with like a, a gold pearl. Pearl? A gold like gem by its neck. Very nice. And then it sh evolves into just puke green Dragonite. Okay. Oh no, this is well. I mean, it looks like a like a snowboardy track with all like the flags and that. But if I remember correctly, yeah, the gym leader is like was like a s a snowboard dude, but then stopped because of some uh, injury. Okay. Is- is it literally just this? There's no town up- well, I mean, I don't know who the hell would want to live up here, but... Imagine working up here in the Pokemon Center or the Pokemon Mart. That would suck. Okay. 
Okay, I think I, do, I think I battled a lot, a lot of trainers. Perhaps enough for a reward? Ten trainers, that sounds pretty good. Blizzard. Mmm. I was gonna make a... I was gonna make a comment, but I'm not. Snowscape. Summons a... Mm, okay, yeah. That, that confirms it. Hang on. Uh, where is it? Yeah, they changed hail to snowscape. The user summons a snowstorm, a snowstorm lasting five turns. This boosts the defense of ice types. Defense stats. So defense and special defense. Actually, I might have a, a, fro a, a frozen rock? Icy rock, right? No, I don't have an icy rock. Never mind. I don't think. No, they didn't. <laughs> I was like, unless they changed it to, to snowy rock, but they didn't. Okay. So, I'm going to... I think I'm going to challenge this guy. Switch him battle. Nimona's up here, of course. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on ba gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know. Really. Well, uh, millions of players got Scarlet and Violet, so I feel like the, the ratios are going to change uh but i'm not surprised you made it i just knew that that was there was a reason you caught my eye uh thanks oh sh oh please i should be the one thanking you anyway i bet you could use a little warming up before taking on the gym huh get it warming up ice <laughs> uh, come on you know the drill by now i do know the drill i wonder if we're gonna snow we're gonna play whiskey and snowboard as the gym test that was a good game. I enjoyed that. Tata cha. Oh. Tata chan? Cha cha. I'm not gonna overpronounce that. Maybe it's wrong. Whoever. Whoever? Whatever. <laughs> Here's our battle court for today. Are we allowed to just borrow these, by the way? I should have asked this like a long time ago, but can we just borrow a gym, like, stadium for. without asking? Uh, the battlefield can have teeny. Uh, teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and stuff, you know? No, it can. Not in this game. Anyway, sorry to sorry I sort of dragged you out here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you good. Now come on, Odie, let's have us a fruitful battle. Okay, Namona. Like in Rocco. Show me the battle skills that you got- that got you six badges. Oh, I- I'm pretty goodly leveled for this. It's not even send attack, it like works well. Fucking good. Wait, did you survive that? I- I, I looked away. Okay, no you didn't. <laughs> Why is she just having dialogue? Palmot. That's Pommy's final evolution or the second one? I can't quite remember. But either way, it's electric type. So let's find out. Alright, Palmot. I think it's the middle form. I don't think it's. It evolves into electric fighting. But I don't remember if the second or the final form that's electric fighting. Well, the final obviously is, but I don't know if the second one is or not. Okay, Moxie Boost. Gonna send in Sligoo next. Uh, I can keep Crocodile in. And just Earthquake it. Do you know what the fifth Pokemon is? Because I, I, she has the starter still, but... But did I lose count? Meowskarada. Maybe I did lose count. What the fuck? What's the team even? I just sort of breezed through it. Go Skeledurge. It kind of sounds like the crocodiles from uh, Donkey Kong Country 2. She doesn't have five. She's four. <laughs> I'm just... 
blind. That's okay. Rascalize into grass. I wonder if she's gonna like change that. Now that we found out we can change our uh, our type. Alrighty. Flower trick. You know, I could... I could check out the Terra type changing thing, because now that I have the TM for Terra Blast... Maybe I could put on, like, a... Hmm, what would be good? Maybe, like, Fairy for Skeledurge? What can I not hit as well, though? With Fire and Ghost, because that's pretty good freaking coverage, I think, right? I don't think there's any one type I can't hit with fire and uh, ghost. That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm up. You passed the gym test. Congratulations. I was the gym test. You and your Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these things as thanks for the battle. Nice potions. There's just two gyms remaining. Then that'll, then all that'll be left is trying out to be a champion. Give it, give it all you got. Now, let's get you back to the gym lobby. Yeah, I, I do indeed have two gyms remaining and two Team Star bosses still. Alright. Welcome to the Glaciato Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Odie. Great. Now, in order to face gym leader Grusha... Or is it Grusha? I can't remember. You'll need- you'll first need to pass the- the gym test. Here at the Glassy Auto Gym, that means doing the snow slope run. <laughs> that sounds like the slide from Mario 64 that I had on- that I struggled with. Ride a Pokemon down- a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. A Pokemon, can I pick? To start your test, just head out the gym and go up the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on the details there. Now, get out there and have fun. Okay. You know, I've always wanted to learn how to snowboard. But I've never gotten, uh, I've never gone yet. One day I will, uh, give it a try, I think. It'd be cool. I did know how to, I, I did learn and know how to skateboard, but... I imagine snowboarding is a different beast. Okay. Where, up here? Hey there, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Out in the cold. This is the uh, this is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery, slidey nature trail. You should finish line within the time the target time, and you'll have passed the test. So, ready to attempt the gym test by taking on the snow slope run? I'm ready to go. It's not selling me what Pokemon. Let's get this started then. Uh, enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. I do like snow. If it, if snow wasn't freaking cold, I would love snow much more. Like, the aesthetic of snow is a, is fantastic. I love it. But the fact that it's all, like, cold and... And the fact that my Coridon's white... Why, are, why am I... Why is Coridon so white? <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is Wave Race. Right? Okay, so I have like a minute 30 to do this. Okay. I hope, like, hitting the flags doesn't minus points for me. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. <laughs> okay. That's all? Oh. I don't know if Karadon's supposed to look like this. Like, I know it's snowing, but like, I'm... Karadon's looking like that. I'm not. And I forgot to put on my toque. Oh, sorry. Beanie. Uh, congratulations on completing the run. 
That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like seeing Grusha in a prime again. Once you want, or oh, you obviously passed the test, the, the gym test with flying colors. Go let the receptionist know. Right, but let me put on my winter hat before I continue. I already have my winter uniform on. Uh, I saw hat. Got the trapper hat. Right. <laughs> no gloves, though. I don't need gloves. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think leading with a warth one is fine. Great show on the slopes, Odie. You finished the snow slope run, no problem. And you know what that means. You've cleared the gym test, way to go. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You have to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Grusha. Very well. Allow me to show you to the Battle Fort. I feel like I'm getting better with reading now, too. Just developing skills and learning things, doing the, this, this Let's Play. And becoming a Pokemon Master. Again. Where did all these people come from, anyway? There's, like, nobody here. Blah! It's Grisha. There you are. Burr, I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger? My name's Grisha. I'm a snowboarder. Used to be pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills? Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't, but don't let that get to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. Shouldn't... Well, in that case, should, should we not battle, like, on the top of a mountain and maybe start an avalanche? Today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. Today's not a great... What does that mean? You sure you want to battle me? You bet. Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now. So don't take what I'm about to do personally. You're about to fucking lose. In an embarrassing fashion. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Jeez, this guy's just like a sad boy. What happened? Did you experience an apple? Did you... Maybe he was caught in an avalanche and, like, scarred him. Perhaps. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's not my fault if you get overwhelmed. Frostmoth. Oh, wow. Okay, I think my levels are good. <laughs> Plus, it has type advantage, so... It should be super good, I think. Frostmoth is fainted. And ice type is not great. And it's good offensively, but defensively it doesn't... Do I just shed tail? What is this? The user creates a substitute for itself using its own HP before switching places with a party folk one and waiting. Oh! Cool! It's substitute and baton pass at the same freaking time. Very interesting. Uh, Griff is about to use Bearctic? Bearctic? I, I never knew how to say that damn thing's name correctly. Okay. It's an Enskeledurgy boy. Nice crotch. No, 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 no. Oh. Nice. And now, I know he's a Titan. Because of the, uh, them, them trailers. Big fucking whale. Oh my god, it survived a plus one flamethrower. Liquidation. Oh, I mean, I didn't really know anything though. What the hell are this thing's stats? Let me see. 
It has insane HP. Decent attack and that's it. Oh, oh, it has thick fat too. Ah, or slush rush. Or sheer force. But yeah, that's cool. Altaria. Ooh. That's a really cool choice. It's gonna be ice type, so I may as well just... But it's gonna be... No, 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 I'm fine. You're not just talk, I see. But you're still one false step from a steep fall. From a steep fall. You could have slipped and fell. Hmm. I wanna know more about this, dude. Battles are like mountains in the winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Yeah, Ice type Altaria, very cool. Normally it's super weak to ice. But it'll resist it now. And if you send a dragon against it, I mean it could just use Terra Ice Blast Ice type Terra Blast. Hurricane is uh, no bueno for me. Nice. Shimura Grusha has been defeated. I'm thinking about, like, good terror type stuff now in my head. Like, Gyarados is probably good, because, like, it barely uses its flying type for anything. Aside from, like, maybe dodging ground moves. So you can, like, make it just pure water. Or maybe make it dark. Power up its crunches. Or, like, ground type to resist, to be immune to electric types that they usually use. Super. My, brain, my brain is just somewhere else right now. Just like how I used to be. <laughs> oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. I missed the first line of dialogue because I was too busy uh, being a nerd. Huh? You want a photo together to, commer to commemorate your, ruin your win? Come on, that's, that's so uncool. I usually don't do that sort of thing, but... Okay, fine. Special occasion. Yeah, I'm not great with the uh, photos either. What's he doing with his scarf? What am I doing with my... Am I Dr. Evil? What is that? Seven gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon up to level 55 more easily. They'll actually listen to you too, which is nice. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this too. Ice Spinner, that's the TM that I saw. Yeah, it, it destroys terrain. It's a bit stronger too. Uh, it should be a lot more useful. You, or should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. <laughs> Feel free to stop by again, if you don't mind me, if you don't mind the cold, that is. I like the cold, because you can just bundle up, and bund bundling up feels nice. Hot's not bad, but, I mean, if it's too hot, you can only get some naked. Oh, it's you. Uh, Rika. Hey, hey, Rika here, at your service. You have a small child with you. Don't tell me that's the final member of the Elite Four. These gyms are really, um, these gyms really aren't giving you that much trouble, are they? No. Rika, Rika! I can't do a small child voice, I have to do a gremlin. Huh? Oh, right. You two haven't met, have you? This young man is Odie. He's so good with Pokemon. Even La Primera is taking interest in him. Oh, wow, oh, wow. B but I think that the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. Oh, God. She is the last Elite Four member, isn't she? Like, really strong. How does she get a... Okay, well, let, before I g come to conclusions here, which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I'm... <gasps> what? How? <laughs> I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe she's not 10 years old. Or, or younger. Maybe she's not 5 years old. Ha ha ha. Now, why don't you just... Ju just adorable. I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. I can't fucking believe it. Yeah, I am. I hope to, I, I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, mister, and fucking murder your ass. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. Oh my gosh, she is a small child, isn't she? She's learning words and shit. 
Unless it's all an act. A farce. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. She it is a kid. There's no way this is an act. Wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. They're employing... Todd, t baby toddler babies. Gifted children. Gifted children. Like if she's a freaking elite four member and has a strong team and knows Pokemon and all that shit. But still. The heck? Spain is whack. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Paldea is whack. New, new classes? Now? Hmm. Well. How do I even get... Oh, I probably get- okay, I probably get, like, in here, through, through and around, like this, like, lake pass. Or, maybe I can go up here. Hmm. Anyway. I think I'm gonna go down here. And challenge that person, the fighting type leader of the, uh, the, the bad boys and girls. Well, first, let's no- let's go to the Naran- the Naranja Academy. The Narn ja ja ja. Ha ha ha. Ya ya ya. Hmm. And let's go to class. Let's check out the new classes that we have now. Do, do a little bit more reading, because I haven't done a lot of reading so far in this episode, have I? Just climbing a mountain and battling a gym leader. A little bit of ex exploration as well, sprinkled in there. Like side exploration. Alright. Uh. What do you mean, new classes? Was I seeing things? I, 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 I swear I saw that they were in the new classes ad. Anyway. I think I'm gonna take all the other second classes. And then next time. Or maybe even at the end. Oh, uh, we'll see. Uh, let's go to math class with Miss Time. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Bumping the controller on my chest, you hear that? <laughs> Alright. Hello everyone, uh, let's have a fun class today. Tell me, do you all enjoy shopping? Buying tasty bread or choosing new clothes? Even just window shopping is so much fun. I like window shopping. Uh, today, in, t in today's class, I'd like you to use shopping, one of my own favorite hobbies, mind you, to teach you all about math. I'm sure everyone here has visited a Pokemon at least once. They sell all sorts of Pokemon items. Pokeballs are one of the many useful items you can find here. They cost 200 Poke Dollars each. Now then, I'd like you all to do something, do some thinking with me here. Do I actually have to do math? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, one Pokeball is 200. Uh, if you had $2,000 and bought as many Pokeballs as you could afford, how many, ta how many would you receive? 10, 11, 9. What? Oh dear, I'm sorry, Odie. I suppose this was a bit of a trick question. I... I did I rush it? With 2,000, you can afford to purchase a maximum of 10 Pokeballs. However, if you purchase 10 Pokeballs or more of one type of Pokeball, you'll also receive a Premier Ball. Right, but that's not necessary. It's a type of Pokeball, but it's not a Pokeball, so I'm correct. Don't do this to me. I can't believe it. So the correct answer is 11. Wow. I am only half Asian though, so I don't need to be good at math. It sure is nice to get a little bonus like that on the shopping trip, isn't it? Fuck you, Miss Time. This is why no one likes math. Just do trick questions like that. Oh my, is that the bell? I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. I'm looking forward to seeing you, you all in the next class. I hope you're looking forward to it too. I'm not anymore. Not right now. I can't believe that. Alright, what's next on the, uh, on the classroom list here? Let's see. Hist Histoire. Miss, Miss Ryfort. Miss Ryfort? Is the T silent? Not sure. You know what? While this is loading, uh... Don't translate from freaking Japanese! Translate from English to a, a language so I can... Rifle. Translate from French. 
Well, I guess that can make it. That's, that does some kind of crunch. Hang on, let me see. Oh, wait. We did the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Um, and the desktop. Rayford. Rayford. What about from French? Rayford. Rayford. Okay. And I'm pretty sure, actually, that I think this teacher may be French, because if, if I remember correctly, this... I know there's a language class, but this person... Did this teacher speak any French? I can't remember any. Rayford. Greetings, my little students. Uh, whatever did whatever you did yesterday, it is now a part of history. That is true. Today we will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented us. What is today but yesterday's tomorrow? Oh, my desktop is still not muted. <laughs> Sorry if you heard like double the double the game. All right. About two thousand years ago, this region came under rule of the Paldean Empire. Uh, historical accounts describe the Paldean Emperor as being quite the dictator. This Emperor also zealously believes the legend of the treasure that just deep within the Area Zero. I must mention that civilizations of our ancestors were not as developed as ours is, uh, as ours is today. People back then were far more likely to believe in mysterious legends, magic, and beings beyond human comprehension. Mm -hmm, this is true. In an attempt to gain the power to, to stand against Paldea's neighboring countries, the Emperor sent people in droves to join the hunt for the fabled treasure in, of Area Zero. Aha, perfect timing to make eye contact out, young Odie. Answer me this, this is why I don't even- I never did that as in school. No, just don't look at the teacher. Approximately how many years ago was it that Paldean Emperor began to rule this region? You said 2,000 years ago, right? Yeah. That is correct. You are a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you're listening intently to my lecture. The answer is about 2,000 years ago. That is when the great era of exploration began. However, it is said not a single adventurer sent out by the Emperor has even reached the depths of Area Zero. Was it the punishing journey itself that barred their way, or perhaps some unknown creature? The resounding failure of this great era of exploration almost certainly heightened the air of mystery surrounding the crater. Oh, what I w uh, oh what I wouldn't give to explore Area Zero in its untouched state at that time. I suppose I can only hope for a s the swift invention of a time machine. Oh, is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. You know what I like more than my Lamborghinis? Knowledge. This ends today's lesson. We will unravel more of history's enigmas together next time. I like the history class because it's actually like poking and prodding at this game's like what what the hell is in the crater. But not quite just giving you the answer. Okay. Uh, language time, speaking of Miss Raifa, with Mr. Salvatore. I'm not saying that room correctly, am I? There's no way. English. Uh, name of my thing. Desktop. Salvatore. Salvatore. Okay, yeah, no, this and this, and it doesn't seem to be picking up any uh, different languages. So there we go. Okay, um, my dear friends, I forgot the voice. Whatever. How are you? How are you all today? Feeling absolutely fantastic. I hope. Huh. It's time for Salvatore's language lesson. Etez-vous prêt? Uh, are you ready, everyone? I I don't know if I said that correct. You can answer with yes or oui. I'll speak French. Let's. I'll play along with it. C'est super. In our last class, uh, I believe I taught you all how to say thank you in other languages, right? Yeah, and you also just mostly flexed your. What the fuck? In le in le cour in le cour d'aujourd'hui d'aujourd'hui, I think so. In le cour d'aujourd'hui, today's class, 
we will learn about a certain word that will make people happy when you use it in your travels abroad. What word do you ask? Well, you'll have to guess. Le de delicio. Uh, how? Oh god. Hauchi. Bu buono. Can you tell me what these words mean? Delicious. Sorry. Help. <laughs> Delicious. French is pretty... Like, some key words in French are very similar to English, I find. Wow, correct. C'est super. I knew I could count on you, Odie. That's the perks of uh, being Canadian. You have a little bit of French under your belt. Uh, delicio, hauchi, buen, uh, buono. All these words mean delicious. The other words, I don't even know if I'm saying correctly. I think delicio is barely correct. Anyway. <laughs> Using the local word for delicious at markets or restaurants is sure to give you a big sourire. A smile, that is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, from whoever you're talking to. I, I really hope I'm not butchering too many of these words. <laughs> It'll make great- it'll make communication go more smoothly, I guarantee it. People love it when someone says the cuisine of their homeland is delicious. Oh, I thought they, they liked it when you said it tastes like trash. Who wouldn't be ill happy to receive such a compliment? And now, a, a, prop, a propos or, of nothing. A propos? Of nothing? I hope that's not an English word. Uh, let me give you all- uh, let me uh, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. The first step to smooth communication is to compliment the person you're talking to. C call them delicious? After all, it's not very likely that a compliment who uh, would put someone in a bad mood. The <laughs> if you do it on the internet, people will think you're being sarcastic. This doesn't only apply to people in other regions either. It's the same for all of you too. You can put this tip to use with uh, your classmates. How about you all try complimenting each other after class? I bet it will make for an ambience plus sympathique. Uh, plus sim plus sympathique? A more friendly atmosphere. Ambiance? He just like sprinkles other... <laughs> That's all for today. See you all on au prochain cours. Next lesson. That is, adios, matane. Oh, that's a that's a difficult class to speak. My neck hurts. Oh my god. Okay. My my face is like making shapes I've never made before. Okay. Uh, one final home ec class with Mr. Seguaro. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. Who is that fourth member of the Elite Four anyway? It's just a child. Like, the other three are just teachers, right? Who's this child? Hmm. Put away your phones. <laughs> it is time to begin class. Put away your phones. It is time to begin class. In our class, I believe we talked about the effects you could get from food on your picnics. You can receive meal powers and even restore HP for all your the Pokemon in your party. It is truly a convenient w means of healing your Pokemon. Pokemon. Unfortunately, I'm, as I'm sure you are aware, it is not suited for use in battles. When you cannot make food or wish to restore your HP quickly. In times such as those, you should make use of healing items such as potions, which you can purchase from Pokemon or the school store. Healing items are effect immedi immediately effective and can be used any time that you open your bag. They are, however, consumed after one use. I mean, so are, so are sandwiches and food. Potion. Oh, I thought he was pointing at his name tag. Uh, potions restore 20 HP, super potions restore 60, and hyper potions 120. The, pr the, the pricier the item, the more HP it will restore. Keep in mind how much money you have when you are stocking up on these items. You get what you pay for. However, unforeseen happenings are an in ex oh god an inextricable an part of traveling from place to place. Imagine, if you will, the following scenario: you and yourself uh, with injured Pokemon. You find yourself with injured Pokemon, uh, but you have no potions and you are out of sandwich ingredients. There are no Pokemon centers nearby. You fly to one. 
Told me most already. We're not really like ever cooking anything. We have like dishes under our seat and stuff. We don't cook anything, do we? What would you search for uh, when you are in a powerless situation with no way to heal your Pokemon? Okay, without selection, I actually am not. Berries? <laughs> a teacher. <laughs> a place with water. Items on the ground. I guess that's the correct answer. Perfectly correct, Master Odi. I see you are well learned in survival techniques. If you see something shiny on the ground, it is actually an item that has been dropped out there. You may be able to find a, restor a restorative, restorative, restorative item, such as an orange berry or a potion, in this way. You can use the R button to send out your Pokemon to pick up such items as well. If you're too lazy to do it yourself, you fuck. And then there are berries, of course. Berries, by the way, aren't like items from shops. If you let your Pokemon hold one, it will decide on its own when to eat the berry during battle. Letting your Pokemon decide this timing for itself can be quite interesting. At any rate, if you find yourself in need of healing, I suggest that you look around for shining items on the ground. You just pick up food from the ground. Mm -hmm. If you can't find such items, there are other methods you, you may employ for healing your... Ah, but I see the bell demands the topic wait. Our time together has come for an to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Can we cook? I want to stir. I want to make poffins. I want to stir the pot. Or make pokey blocks. The poffin thing was fun back in uh, Gen 4. Okay. Now that my throat is sufficiently... Uh, now that my neck is sufficiently hurting from making all those goddamn shapes in, in language class. Which is a weird sentence out of context. Let's continue our journey. Uh, 52. Pretty good. Let us go uh, to this Pokemon Center that we briefly stopped at here. I want to check out that, uh, I want to also check out that lake with the three towers there. I want to see what's up with that. What's the deal with the, with the lake? With the three towers on uh, can I just set a random location as a destination, I wonder? Like this? I can. Actually, I should just do it, like, right at the lakeside. How about that? Okay. Some Espartha here. Whoopsie, wrong button. I wanted to change my lead Pokemon here. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Let's go back to Palafin, I think. Oh, and also, let's just do a quick heal here. I hear a gimme ghoul just sort of grumbling. Okay. Let us go. It's a raid up here as well. Should have got myself a drink. We'll do that between recordings here. But for now, I'm good. I can manage. Eevee! It's a fairy type too, right? What type is this? It isn't. What the fuck? What was that about? That's Espartha. Let's change our Pokemon here. Change it to Orthworm here. Uh, and challenge alone. I ain't going no on. Although, I also realize, like, perhaps the reason why I haven't encountered these huge crazy bugs is because I'm in offline mode. Maybe that helps, like, lower the amount or frequency of these bugs. Though I imagine they'll still happen. But, uh... Yeah. I'm not gonna want to go online. It's definitely probably gonna kill my frames. Okay. Or is it psychic type? Am I dumb? I think it's psychic type. Wrong thing. Its eyeball is looking... Funny how the first EV that I can remember that I have found is in a raid. Oh my. Hmm. You haven't seen that? Are you attacking yet? Okay, there we go. We got a Sylveon on team too, though. The Bronze Song just Gyro Ball twice. How do you manage that charm? Maybe he's just becoming very bulky right now. Oh, so 
so close. Yes, Orthworm. And it was a 3 star raid too, so it's gonna give me some pretty good candies. Watch it not catch. Hi. I guess I suppose during that whole animation sequence I could have gotten a, a drink real quick, but again, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Uh. Eevee fur, some candies, some clever feather, and psychic terror shards. Eevee, the evolution Pokemon. Its ability to evolve, to evolve into many forms allows it to adapt smoothly and, perfe and perfectly to any environment. Exactly one foot tall. Oh, that's the that was a cute little picture. <laughs> okay. I'll meet you there. It's, uh... Is there a way to? Wait. Oh, that's the tower. What is this then? Is that just the, I guess the, maybe that's just the board. <laughs> oh. Wild Flareon, hello. You know, what, a, what a peculiar uh, place this is. Kaiba Berry. Seto Kaiba. Just looking at the Pokemon around here. Dragon Dance. Ooh. I wonder what can learn Dragon Dance on my team. I'm just curious, if anything. Nothing. Crocodile can learn Dragon Claw, though. Okay. But I already knew that being a uh, crocodile enjoyer. Is this a, just a dragon like? There's Dratini in here. I feel like there's more to this lake and this mystery. I am the youngest of the three sisters, the one who's claimed the dragon's tail, and I'll send you flying. A wild Vaporeon back there, you see it? Ultra. Oh, that's a big level. Let's turn on the fuck out of here. Uh, suppose just ta just Houndstone for the play rough, right? Dragon tail. Well, she did say she was the dragon's tail. I didn't listen. Aha! Superman is here. Acrobatic. I like how the Delvin just straight up gets fucking fists. Dragon tell me out again. Is it going to be like one of the sisters being the dragon's claw and she just has something that spams dragon claw? What would the third one be? Dragon tail, dragon claw, dragon scale? <laughs> no. Dragon's dance. I don't know. Dragon fang. There's no dragon fang. Diana the dragon tamer. 
I might have to I might have to turn tail and run. Go on, take your money and run. Let's grab this uh, rare boner. Nope. <laughs> not today, Golduck. Goodbye. You're not a dragon type. You don't belong in this little dragon lake up here. See, gave me go humping a coin. Oh, it was on its back. I mean, it's always on its back. Why don't I think otherwise? The dragon's breath. Okay. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll buy that. I am the second of the three sisters. The one who's claimed the dragon's breath. I'll blow you away. Ooh. I mean, if you're offering a uh, Jima... Why am I- wait, this isn't correct. <laughs> are we- am I supposed to be- are we supposed to be together like that? I guess she is giving- gonna, you know. Um... Let's flip turn out of here. I really wish I had Ice Punch. I have the Ice TM, I- maybe- maybe Palafin could learn the damn- the Ice Spin. Whatever the thing was called. Well, either way, I think I'm gonna go- well, this- Dragalgy can learn water attacks, though. I'm scared of that. Let's just go in at Worthworm. Dragon Pulse. That's not Dragon Breath, that's Dragon Pulse! You lied! Hyper Beam- oh, wow. Okay, well. I thought Hyper Beam was 100 accuracy. I guess it's like 90. Or maybe 95. You left me no time to catch my breath. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... Hmm... <laughs> hmm... Hmm... That wasn't my fault, how about that? That's all I'll say. Uh, what was it called again? Uh, ice Spinner. It cannot learn Ice Spinner. That's unfortunate. In fact, nothing can. Not on my team. The dragon's wings? I thought you were going to be the dragon's claw. You're going to use, like, dual wing beat, which is, is not a dragon attack. Clean the dragon's wings, I'll blast you away. Alright, Paloma. I'm the Wither Neuvern. Ice attack would be really nice now. I did my best. <laughs> Dragon Claw! Ooh, it's the Claw! Ooh, you're scared of the Claw! You're scared of the Claw! Ah. It's a uh, Hyper Potion, I suppose. Aerial Ace. I don't have to kill. Watch this. You want to see me miss a play rough? Okay, just kidding. I mean, uh, well, too bad, because uh, I you're not going to see it today. Right now. In this battle. Did I check the other tower? Like, a, like the top of it? I can't remember, actually. I don't know if I just went... I think I just went straight here. Take your time climbing them, them, that ladder. Full, res full restore. This this must be like a flyable tower up here, right? Am I right, fellows? Mm -hmm. Fly up here. Oh, it's just just a gimme gold chesticle. Okay, that's aha! I did not check that. 
I press B again? Oh my god. Climb it. Hmm. Oh, there's, there's a little area there. You see that down there? Cool. Okay, what team are you? A dragon type one? Dragon Pulse, indeed. Okay, just for curiosity's sake. Aha, you can fly here, okay. Alright, let's get out of this. <laughs> let's, get, let's get away from this lake. <laughs> Collecting items along the way. Salt Rock Boys over there. A spicy pepper. Shuckaberry. Oh, some ruins. Don't mind me, goats. Just wanting to... Make my way... Here, okay. Alright. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the map here. How do we get... There. Ah, oh, I have to go the other way. Okay, so, let's do that then. So gotta go south. And let me set the location, destination location to the Pokemon Center nearby there. I gotta go south first. Who's leading in my party? Is it still, oh, it's Palafin, right? Let me... Maybe I should heal at the Pokemon Center, but I, I think I think we're good on PP, so. I think the PP is good, right? Oh, excuse me, I wasn't sure if that Esparza was like shiny or something, it just looked strange to me. Like, str the, more strange than usual. Oh, these Pommy? What are you guys doing here? Oh, you're a big level. There's another raid here, too. A dragon-type raid, it looks like, on the map. Oh my god, it's a four-star cloister? I don't have anything for cloister, do I? Ooh, let me, this is not the correct... It's dragon-type. But I still don't have anything for the... Hmm. We'll give it a try anyway, just for the sake of... This is my first, uh, this is gonna be my first, uh, four-star raid. Let's go with Ravska here. Nope, the vi video is not fro frozen or anything, it's, it's just- Okay, there we go. It's taking a while. It's also a stone evolution, so... This'll- this'll save me the trouble. Although, like, I think the Willow was would have been nicer. That's okay. That's fine. We're, we're fine. Huh. Oh, a shield? Okay. Wait. Did it say Terrasco last to stop Cloister? Can't Terrasco last yet if, I, if, it, if it did say such a thing. Oh, ha ha. Oh. Uh, okay, there we go. Now I can terrestrialize. Looks like a damn totem pole. <laughs> Oh, 
Crash. That shield is really tough to take down. Oh, I got the burn on it too, yes! Just kidding, it's gone. Now, somehow. It's come to the onslaught of something. Shell smash. Uh oh. Okay, it's burned again. Are you burned or not? Make up your mind. Here we go. Is there HP there? I can't quite tell if there's like a red sliver or not. Okay. I think there was and then the burn took it down, but it's still attacking. Why? Does it still have HP maybe? Somehow? Please. There we go. Okay. It looks weird when it has its eyes and mouth closed. <laughs> just, just a, just a poil in there. Not, you're not gonna say, you know. That's, that's all I'll say. Okay. A nice easy catch, perhaps. I don't know if these can fail, right? Okay. Nice. Alright, large experience candy. Only one of them, but that's fine. Dragon Terrasard. And some shoulder pearls. Nice. I still need to get the Metatite's uh, hairs. Or, or sweat, that's what it was. to the PC with you. Uh, how's the team? Okay, good, still. One of Team Stars' base- One of Team Stars' bases is off to the east tip here. It's so scary. A lake- A lakes? The student. It's not just Alex, is it? Am I overthinking this? I don't know. All right, low kicks. You are gonna go. You, you are gonna go down. Downward is where you are going. That is the direction. Skeledurge. Skeledingy. Well, bounces inconvenient. Nice just torch song here. Nice. Skeletons, come back. Where are you? Okay, there. Talon Flame. Hmm. That's the, the only rock move I have. Well, I can just send in Palafin. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we know that he undergone a transformation. We can see that. Jet punch. Dolphin! Pounch! What if anything else can learn jet punch? Probably not, because, like, what would be the point of Aqua Jet then? If, some, if something can begin to learn. Some things can learn to begin to, 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 to learn jet punch. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe things that can't learn Aqua Jet can learn Jet Punch. Uh, 
I can check that as this battle uh, commences. Only Palafin, apparently, right now. So far. Oranguru. Let's learn the hell out of here. I see the Poke Center back there. Just cook it out and uh, crunch this thing. Like it ain't, it ain't gonna hit me. Nice. All right, go Lee. Lee. Is just roaring over there. Thanks for your clapping. Oh, there's Phalanx here too. Oh, I like this forest. It's neat. Oh, <laughs> did you see the, the Phalanx there? Like a rocking back and forth, like a seesaw? It's Fungus, that's what that is. Oh. That. Lots of Scyther in this forest, wow. And a Luxray. I don't know why I keep checking my team to see what's... Oh, they're just... That's so cool! The Phalanx are just sort of... Practicing their formations. Oh, the Olive. I don't think I've saw... I've seen the... The middle form of this olive Pokemon, just Arbol Ar Arbol Arbolifa, Arbolifa, because it's like an Arbolist, but like Ar but olive, and then there's just an uh Arbolif, I'm Ar Arbolifa. That's what it is known as right now for me. I don't even know what happened, I'm just- I was too busy trying to figure out this thing's name. Leech Seed. Spread your seed all over me. Did it set grassy terrain? Hang on. Visibility? Let's see here. Seed Sower. Turns the ground into grassy terrain when the Pokemon is hit by an attack. Okay, indeed. It's, it's grassy surge, except it has to get hit. Okay. Interesting. And the same ability is uh, Harvest. Look at shiny form. It gets uh, black olives when it's shiny. And the grass is a bit, uh, like, at more evergreen. Instead of this more like limeish, brighter green, it's a darker green. I like the shiny form a lot actually. It's really good. Lola the cook, take that. Okay. You're not shiny, are you? It's got a little, uh, <laughs> that's cool. The way it uses its, uh, its web. Let me, like, double check. I don't think this thing is shiny. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. No, okay, absolutely not. Shiny is, like, pink and shit. Is 
Venomoth. Wild freaking Venomoth. Venomoth. Oh, there's an Oranguru walking around there too. This is a neat little forest. It's like bamboo here too. Heracross is over there. Okay, so with, with an Ursa Ring. Misty Terrain. Which I already have uh, acquired at some point. Almost walked into Bisharp thinking that was the trainer, but this is the trainer. Unbelievable! Gosh, I feel like a buffoon. Oh, hi. Uh, I thought the thing I saw was just a mushroom, but it was alive. Ali the student. A lie. Okay, so we just get, the, get the belly bolt here. I need to uh, leave. Let's go into Crocodile. Oh, buddy, old pal. Electric terrain, it's, uh, that's fine. The amount of players I have for this are, uh, are non-existent. I cannot find them. Sucker Punch, not gonna do anything. And Earthquake is gonna do massive damage. In fact, it's gonna KO. Mm -hmm, excuse me. Nice. He did Ali the student. Lots of trainer battles this episode, though. Oh my... Hang on. What did you say? One second. <laughs> I need to... I need to make sure my eyes didn't... My eyes are not deceiving me. Did I auto-save? I'm going to save again anyway, just in case. This Bisharp wants to fight. Okay, but first, before we fight Bisharp... I guess there really are fungus among us. Wow. Let's clear some of this stuff out. Okay, well, <laughs> I can't believe they put that shit in. Oh, Bishop don't want to fight no more? Good. This is beautiful. Wow. This is awesome. I don't feel like I'm in Spain anymore, but this is... I feel like I'm in freaking... China, like, wow! This is awesome. This is this looks so awesome. These falls. These falls are said to be quite famous. I'll help commemorate your visit with a fine battle. That's Spider Sister. What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Sneak up on that girl like that. She spin. Ew, what the fuck? Brooks is just Brooks is just like top fin like spreads like that. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. Houndstone time. Wave crash. It's the the water type flare blitz that I was talking about.
And I love just like watching the background Pokemon sometimes, seeing how they interact with the battles that are happening. That Heracross, for example. Okay, Houndstone barely survived the wave crash, by the way. <laughs> or whatever it used on me. Spin? Florges. I send an Orthworm here. Spin again. Aha! Rotata. Okay. Rotototot, in fact. Grassy terrain. Speaking of Rotototot, we'll probably be getting that phone call from uh, Cassiopeia here soon. Cassiopeia. <laughs> she keeps spinning. Stop that. I got I worked I got so worked up with uh, the sweat was pouring down my back like a, like a cascade. Oh, that's kind of TMI. I didn't need to know that, but thank you. Fury Falls, one of the ten sites of Paldea. In <gasps> oh, what the hell! I was gonna back up and look at the falls out there. What are you doing here? I want to I want to observe the site of Paldea. Be on this rock here. <gasps> no sightseeing allowed. You cannot be seeing these sights. This is my turf. Oh crap, what TM was that? I mashed A too fast. Oh, it showed up for a moment. What the fuck? Is it sleeping? It just doesn't move, I guess. It's slacking. I guess that makes sense, though. Okay, we are indeed here. I think I battled a lot of trainers here. Three trainers? Oh, only three? Okay. Let's heal up here. Yeah, Bishop's getting his lean on. Okay, well, I'm cutting it close to the two hour mark. So I think I'll just end this recording here. Sorry to tease you a little bit of that of that fighting base over there. But I mean, we'll check that out next time. As well as maybe... Maybe try to breeze through the final... Uh, we only, Okay, so after that we have one gym remaining and then one Team Star base remaining. So maybe we'll breeze through, the, through all of this uh, next recording. Uh, see you guys then.